So this one builds on the previous uh, example that we looked at from uh, based around DJ Dave's kind of working method. And for this one, we, instead of having the patterns inside the live loop, we have the patterns sitting outside in a named variable. Now, it's really just kind of a personal preference more than anything else in terms of which you elect to do. Um, so I would say it's really just something for you to kind of work out what works for you. I don't think you'll find that any particular, you know, orally when you listen to it, no listener is going to be able to detect whether you have used the patterns in a named variable or whether they're inside the live loop. No one's, well, some people will know because they like to look at your code. But when you're playing around with stuff, most people are not really going to be bothered. So in many ways, this doesn't sound any different other than I have changed the snare drum sound. So that's something to think about. Do you want to do it in a named variable or do you want to have it inside each pattern? Depending on how much code you're writing into your parts, um, it might start to get a little bit difficult to kind of bounce between lots of different um, live loops. Therefore, the named variables, when they're pretty much at the top of the page, means you can always find them. You know, they don't disappear in and amongst the noise of everything else. Okay, until next time.